Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to take a look at an annoying problem which has actually affected me recently. So, I figured it'd be a good idea to make a quick video to show you some of the methods I went through to try and get my SD card to actually show up in Windows. Now, you think this would be a pretty simple thing to do, just plug the darn thing in and it will appear in Windows Explorer as it would normally. And the same applies to USB drives. So, this video is going to cover kind of removable drives in essence, but this is more targeted towards SD cards specifically for me. But yeah, hopefully it should help you to fix your problems. So the problem is, is yeah, you put your drives in and it basically doesn't show up. You go into disk management and it will show the drive being as read only, which is kind of weird, but certainly it isn't that unusual. Sometimes disks under Windows will just show up as read only for some bizarre reason. It's a bit of a Windows bug, but certainly if you're having problems with your card reader, which I certainly seem to be, then yeah, there's some pretty simple ways to fix it. And there's also some sort of more convoluted ones. Anyway, the easiest one of all for me personally with the card reader was to literally plug in the device into the computer and go into device manager, find the actual device, the SD card reader, go into the driver and remove it entirely. I'll show you how to do this shortly as a kind of walkthrough anyway, so you can see how it's done. But that was the one that fixed it for me. So I removed it from the system, rebooted the computer, it reloaded the driver and the disk started working. Now this was one of the last things I tried and I would suggest it be probably the first thing you try, especially if you've got maybe a laptop or some device which has got a built in SD card reader. Sometimes the manufacturer's devices, sometimes the manufacturer's device driver can get corrupted. So it's uh, worth trying it out. Or alternatively, if you're using a laptop or something like that, and it's got a built-in card reader, I would strongly suggest going over to the manufacturer of the actual laptop and just check to see if there's actually any kind of media control device drivers or any SD card drivers, which might be more preferable than the ones that Windows tries to load. Quite often, if you've done an upgrade from maybe Windows 10 to Windows 11, it'll just try and throw in some generic Microsoft drivers, which may not work perfectly. So drivers are the main thing. Again, we'll be showing that very shortly in the demonstration. And also something else you can try as well is just the simple things with your SD cards. Sometimes if you've got a micro SD and it's in one of these little holders or adapters for full size, on the side, there is actually a write protect section. Now, sometimes this can actually prevent the drive being seen in Windows as well. So just make sure that it's actually in the right position. So it will toggle between being on and off. So just move that, just make sure it's in the right place. Sometimes just actually swapping out the actual adapter for another one can be all that is needed. Again, if you're using a standard SD card, not a micro SD card in an adapter, then this probably isn't that relevant to you. Also as well, do bear in mind that card readers being mechanical devices, there is actually a sensor inside of the drive itself, the actual reader, I should say. And there is basically a piece of hardware or sometimes a little bit of plastic or metal, which basically checks to see if that is in the right position. And if that bit is actually broken, then unfortunately you're gonna to need to get either a new card reader or try and fix it. Again, that is probably not for the scope of this video. So I think we should go over to the computer now and I'll show you some of the things you can try doing such as adding a new registry key into the computer to actually disable write protection or that kind of stuff. Anyway, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. Now, like I said previously, the easiest way in a lot of these instances is just to go into device manager. So if you right click on the start flag, go into device manager, generally into disk drives, you'll see here. So we've got a generic storage device, USB device. That is actually our card reader. So all you need to do is just highlight your card reader, whatever yours says, right click on it, choose properties and then driver. You can either do update driver, which will try and find a new driver, or if you've got one which you've downloaded, you can do it that way. So do update driver and browse my computer and then go to wherever you've downloaded it to. Alternatively, if you haven't got a driver and you're just relying on Windows to plug and play it, all you do, right click on the device and choose uninstall device and you'll get this option here. So it says, warning, you're about to uninstall this device from your system. Sometimes when you do this, there may be a tick box underneath as well that says uh, also remove the drivers on the system or clean up the drivers. You can do that as well. So if I do that now, we'll go ahead, click on uninstall and there we go, it's gone. So then all you'd need to do is to go around to the back of the PC or wherever the drive is connected, physically unplug it, wait for the ding dong, plug it back in and it should reappear and hopefully it's gonna pick up the correct drivers. So that's one of the things I would definitely recommend doing. The next part is gonna be a registry key. So what we wanna do is open up 
the registry editor. So type in regedit or start typing it and it should come up there. So registry editor, click on okay. You'll get the user account control notification. So click on yes. And you want to actually head over to a specific area, which is, you can see here anyway, I'll put it in the video description as well. So you want to go to computer, H key local machine, then system, current control set, control, and then storage. Now you may find that underneath storage, there'll be another key which says storage device policies. Now, if you've got storage device policies, part of this you don't need to do because the key is already created, but we don't actually have that one here. So what we're going to do is go back up to the top here where it says control. I'm going to right click on that and we're going to choose new and then key. And we're going to call this new key storage device policies, capital S, capital D for device, and then capital P for policies. And when you're happy, press enter. And you should see now you've got a new key called storage device policies, and there'll be nothing actually within that key. So what we need to do now is to create a new DWORD 32-bit value. So we're gonna right click, choose new, and then DWORD 32-bit value. And what we wanna do is we wanna call this value write protect. So capital W for write, and then capital P for protect. And then when you're happy, press enter. And it should automatically set up a value of zero. So if write protect is set to zero, that means write protect is disabled. If you do want to write protect, you can go into the key and just change it to one as a decimal, click OK, and there we go. So that is write protect is now toggled on, but we don't want to do that. So let's go back to where we are. So if yours already says one for some reason, because it's uh, confused or corrupted, just change the value data to zero, click on OK, and now we've got our write protect value of zero. Once you've done that, you can close down regedit and reboot your PC, and hopefully your SD card or storage devices should now start working properly. So there again, there are all kinds of things you can try to get your SD cards to actually show up or possibly even your USB sticks in Windows 10 or Windows 11. For me, it was a very long and arduous task. I went through the point of doing a kind of repair install of Windows and that didn't fix it. I even tried an, another card reader because I've got two exactly the same. And what really broke it down for me is the fact that if I put my SD card into the card reader, plug it into another computer, it worked absolutely fine, popped up, no problems at all straight away, and everything was all good. Now actually, also I should say as well, if you're having problems with the auto pop-up, so you put your card in, and then you have to physically go into my computer to actually see the device, it could be because Windows Auto Play has been disabled or misconfigured. So let's go back over to the computer and I'll quickly show you how to sort that out. So in order to sort out the uh, auto play section, just click on the start flag and type in control panel or start typing it, go to control panel, and in the category section, just go to large icons, and then there's the first one there, auto play. So if you go into auto play, and make sure that this is ticked. So if it's not, obviously it's not gonna auto play media. And also for your removable drive, just choose what you want it to do. Sometimes it's, it's take no action, um, or it can be open folder, whatever. I generally like to use this one, open folder to view files in File Explorer. So as soon as I plug in a removable drive, that's exactly what it's gonna do. And you can do the same thing for memory cards if you've got it directly connected, rather than being a removable drive. So yeah, just make sure it's set to open folder to view files in File Explorer. Just make sure that this tick is here, click on save at the bottom, and that is it, you're pretty much done. So there you go, hopefully some good tips there to try and get your removable devices working again on your Windows computer. Let me know in the comment section if it's helped you or alternatively, if you have any other solutions or ideas which have helped you out in the past, I'll be very interested to hear them and you never know, they may actually appear in a future video. I think that's gonna wrap this one up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button. If you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the channel notification that way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.